why don't you just kind of start out by talking about uh, your foundation, kind of why you started that, why that's important to you, and then kind of turn that into talking about this tournament and, you know, hosting this event. Yes, um, well, I mean, obviously we started uh, our foundation in, uh, in 2002, um, starting Europe, and um, mainly, uh, you know, always, always felt very, very thankful uh, for, for what I've been able to, uh, to achieve throughout, throughout my life and how lucky I've been, you know, uh, when it comes down to uh, health-wise and everything like that. So we wanted to repay that, uh, uh, that, that with um, trying to help uh, other people and people that need it the most. Uh, so we've done a lot of, a lot of work in, um, in Europe uh, and around the world, just uh, f fighting, uh, trying to f uh, find a cause to uh, to fight cancer uh, for kids mainly. Uh, we've done some uh, some golf courses for handicap uh, for handicap people. Um, so um, all all uh, all those kinds of things, and uh, obviously always trying to to help in any way we can. And then uh, when uh, when the AJGA uh, gave us the possibility of um, Taking over and, and having having our own tournament with uh, with our with our foundation with Sergio and uh, Angela Garcia Foundation uh, being uh, being the, the sponsors of it. Obviously, we, we love the idea. We love the idea of uh, of helping out uh, kids and and uh, bringing out a good tournament uh, for them to to play and enjoy. And um, you know, it's been great. It's been a uh, great feedback uh, from uh, not only from from the AJGA but uh, but from from the kids from the parents uh, very very uh, thankful for for all their their kind words and uh, we're excited to uh, hopefully make it uh, better and better as the years goes goes on how does it make you feel that this that you've been in this since 2016 with your event you know it's not just a new event anymore it's an established event with a very strong field and something kids look forward to how does that make you feel it makes us feel amazing. It makes us feel very, very proud. Uh, not only for having a, a great tournament, but like a, like I was saying, for for the feedback that we've we've gotten from uh, from players and, and and parents. So they they're always very, very excited to to come back and play our tournament. Uh, we have a lot of requests, and we would love to get everyone in it, but unfortunately, uh, we can't. But uh, very, very excited to, uh, to see the, uh, the feedback and, and how excited everyone is to, to, be, to be a part of, of our event uh, here in uh, UT, UT Golf Club. And um, it's, um, you know, it's, it's just uh, very fulfilling. Um, why the AJGA? What's, what's so great about the AJGA that that's kind of where you want to go? <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's quite simple. I played, I played a few a few AJGA events uh, when I was when I was an amateur, when I was a junior, um, you know, coming from Europe, and I always felt like they treated me really, really well, uh, even though, you know, I was a, a young kid coming from Europe. Uh, so I, uh, I always uh, thought that uh, the way that uh, the AJGA, uh, obviously me and, and, and my wife, we always thought that uh, they did a great job, uh, not only running the tournament, but the way they treat uh, the players and, and the families around. Uh, so we thought it was it was the the ideal way to go, and and you know we're happy to say that uh, we were we were right. What do you want uh, your legacy to be after you're done playing golf? After you're you know you're you're done with a lot of things that you do now. What do you want your legacy to be um, from a longevity standpoint? Well, I mean, obviously, there's there's no doubt that uh, when I'm when I'm done playing golf, I I want to be remembered uh, by by some of the things I did as a golfer. But not only that, I think uh, I want to be remembered as uh, as a good person, uh, a person that helped people, that 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 made people's lives better and happier, and um, and that's that's definitely one of the one of the most important things, uh, making making a difference in 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 other people's lives. And, and that's, uh, that's obviously one of the things that I, that I hope to achieve as, uh, you know, as my career kind of goes along. What are, these are a little bit more lighthearted, what are uh, three things that we might not know about Sergio? I know you're the president <laughs> of a football club. I used, used to be, not, not anymore. So not talk anymore. a little bit about maybe some, a couple of things that maybe don't know or maybe not as many people know about. Um, well, I mean, I don't know if people know or, or don't about them, but um, I love to cook. 
so I uh, I'm a big fan of uh, of cooking. Uh, I I've always enjoyed that. I feel like it relaxes myself a little, kind of disconnect from from golf and stuff. Uh, I've always been a fan of sports, so I uh, I try to do all kinds of sports. Uh, but obviously, tennis and soccer are my favorite after after golf. I like uh, uh, I like cars too, uh, so I like you know racing and stuff like that. Um, and um, and then um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I have two siblings, uh, an older brother and a younger sister, and uh, and obviously Angela and I. My wife and I, we have we have two kids, uh, a little girl and a, and a little boy. So I don't know if those are things that people maybe might not know. <laughs> cool. Um, so you're obviously a big soccer fan. Mm -hmm. um, who do you think is the greatest, or should I say, footballer of all time? <laughs> Would that be more accurate? <laughs> Oof, that's a tough question. Um, obviously, I think that uh, at the moment, uh, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo are, are the, the two biggest stars. I think there's there's a couple of really big stars coming out with uh, Kylian Mbappe and uh, and Haaland uh, from from Norway. Um, but uh, as an all-time uh, greatest, uh, I would say Pelé, Pelé and Maradona are probably the ones that come to mind. Uh, Di Stefano uh, was was an amazing player too. Um, but uh, we'll see if uh, when everything is said and done, you know, Messi and, and Ronaldo might be might be on top of those or not. Cool. Um, so I believe you you learned the game of golf from your, your father. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So do you wanna do you wanna continue that legacy with your kids and kind of how does that that look for you? Uh, yes, it's um, it's a good question. I, I did learn the game from from my dad, uh, who is also a professional golfer. And uh, I would love our kids to play golf, but, uh, but only if they want to. Um, the, the, what, what I've always said and, and what I've always, my wife and I we've always talked about is, um, I would love them to do sports, no matter, no matter what it is. I don't, I don't care if it's golf, tennis, uh, soccer, uh, track and field, uh, whatever, whatever they want to do. Um, but, uh, you know, I would love them to be involved with sports because I think that not only it keeps you healthier and your mind is healthier, usually the people you're around is healthier, uh, so your surroundings are, are, are better. Uh, I think uh, sports uh, teach you a lot of life lessons uh, as you grow up, so uh, that's always important too. So, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see what, uh, what they come up with, but uh, hopefully sports people. What's your favorite thing about being a dad? Uh, there's many things. Uh, I think uh, you know, just seeing uh, seeing the the smiles on on their faces, uh, it's it's priceless. Uh, I think that uh, you know, being being a dad, it's it's an amazing thing. It's obviously uh, it's obviously not easy and, and a lot of work, but uh, but it's it's an amazing uh, possibility and, and an amazing thing to to have the to have uh, in your life. Uh, so to be able to, you know, play with them, hold them, uh, teach them as they grow up, uh, it's, uh, it's, something, it's something amazing. I know you talked about Angela before and how great of a mom she is. Why don't you talk a little bit about that and what kind of inspires you about how she's a mother? Well, Angela is a great mother. Uh, I think uh, yeah, usually, uh, usually the moms are, are great at their job and, and she's, she's no different. She's, uh, she's really, really good, very, you know, very caring and uh, loves them uh, very much. So, um, you know, but it, it comes out very naturally for, for moms, I think. So, uh, so that's, that's great to see. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, she does a great job of taking great care of them and, and making sure that they, they have everything they need. And, um, you know, I'm very proud of that. Can you talk a little bit just about Angela and how she inspires you and, and how she supports you in that sort of thing? Yes, she, uh, she obviously, she's a great athlete. Uh, her family, uh, it's full of great athletes. Uh, so she knows, she knows what's going on and she, she was, you know, she played for University of Texas in golf. So uh, she played basketball really, uh, really well at a high level in, in high school uh, before she got injured. So she's, uh, she's done a lot of, a lot of sports and, uh, you know, and she works hard, hard uh, still nowadays. So she knows uh, she knows what's going on uh, in in the 
in the professional sports world. Uh, so she can, uh, she's obviously a, a huge supporter of mine and uh, always, you know, trying to, to make sure that I uh, help in any way to, to get better. Uh, so it's, uh, it's great to have her on my side.